Hey everybody, this is Chris Creary, and I just wanted to uh, show you guys something that I figured out. Um, as if you guys use Mailchimp as your um, email marketing um, tool, um, they recently made some changes in their program where, on the free account, you can no longer send multiple emails on the same campaign. If you have like an automation campaign, you're, you're no no longer able to do it on the free program on the free platform you have to upgrade uh, to one of the other platforms but what I figured out is that there is a way to actually still do this using the free account um, so I'm gonna show you right now um, it, so this is a workaround so there's a few steps um, but uh, you can still send uh, automated emails a sequence of automated emails um, through Mailchimp through the free account and I'm gonna show you how so Right now, if you go into your MailChimp and if you have the free account and you try to add an email to um, a campaign that you have right now, you'll have this button at the bottom here that says upgrade to add emails. So basically they're saying um, that you, with the free account, you cannot send more than one email per campaign. And if you want to send automated emails or more emails in the same campaign, you have to upgrade to one of the paid accounts. But this is something that I figured out so that you can send multiple emails on the same campaign. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into your audience and then you're going to create some tags. So for every email that you are going to send in your campaign, create a separate tag for it. So if you look here, I just created uh, three of them, tag one, tag two, and tag three. Um, and I just created these tags and saved them. And I'm going to show you how to use these tags with this workaround so that you can send automated emails. So what you do is you go into uh, create a new uh, campaign um, and then you select create a new automation email and emailed and you're supposed to select email your tagged contacts. So select that um, and then it will take you to uh, you'll enter in your um, your list name and then it will take you to the page where you have to set up the email. At this point, what you do is click on the edit uh, for the trigger uh, of this email. So click on edit and it's circled in red. And what you're going to do is change the trigger. Okay, you change the trigger. So instead, uh, the trigger by default is set to a specific tag. But what you're going to do is you're going to change the trigger. And then when you go into select a new trigger, you select audience management and select sign up when a person subscribes to your email marketing or con for contact list for whatever contact list you have. So this is if somebody subscribes to your link or comes onto your landing page and subscribes, they will um, end up in this list. Now what you do is you change the trigger um, to when a person subscribes to your email marketing list and then you set your delay when you want the email to be sent. It could be immediately or, or it could be, uh, you know, within 10 minutes or the next day or whatever. So then you save the settings after you update the trigger. You can go on to that first email, update it to whatever it's supposed to be when you are, that you want to send out when people subscribe to your list uh, and whatever. So update that email. What you want to update is the post send actions. So what you want to do is click on add and then when you click on add you would change you would check off the box and then select add tag and from the drop down list you would select one of the tags that you created earlier so tag one for example and then update action and save it now what you so this is one email that will go out to your the person that just subscribed to your list and what happens is after they receive that email, a tag will be added to their contact information, okay? Which is, which is important because that tag that's added to their contact information is how they will receive the next email. So what you do now is go on to create another campaign, right? So before in the free plan, you, were, you would have created another email at this point within the same campaign. But what you're doing now is you're creating another campaign another campaign uh, you'll select email your tagged contacts um, and you could call it email number two and uh, select begin 
Now, when you get to this, the setup portion of this email, you want to look at the trigger, okay? So you want to edit the trigger so that this person will receive this email after a certain period of time once they get the previous tag added onto their contact information. Okay, so you edit the trigger. You can go into the uh, details here, where you, the options where you can select the new trigger, select audience management, and then select at the bottom here, you see it says added tag. And it's triggers when you add a specific tag to a contact. So basically from the first email, you are adding a, you are adding a tag to that new contact, right? And in the second email, you will be adding um, the trigger is X amount of time from when that first tag was added to that contact. And in basically what will happen is this person will receive this email in the automated fashion in as if it was in the same campaign. Okay, and then the last thing that you're supposed to do or the last thing that you could do is update your post send action so if you if there's a third email that you want to add to your uh, email campaign or your email automation you would uh, click add and then put a new tag so tag number two um, and then repeat the process that I just showed you for when you're adding a new email allow the trigger for the email to be the previous tag uh, for whatever time frame they're supposed to receive it and then they'll receive that email and then once you're finished with your email automations um, then you can just have a last tag that says uh, general list or something so that those people can, who have gone through that process will go back uh, will have a new tag that says general list and then they'll get the regular emails that you would normally send um, with your with the rest of your email um, marketing campaign okay so that's it's fairly simple it's a workaround um, but this is if you don't want to pay for the upgrade account in MailChimp this is a workaround so that you can still send multiple um, emails in automated fashion um, and still do it uh, you, again all you're doing is creating multiple campaigns and allow and multiple tags and allowing the triggers um, on the emails to be from the previous email that was sent Okay, so I hope this helps your business and I hope you I hope this helps your marketing. Uh, if you want to connect with me to find out more about me and the things that I'm doing, go on to business.chrisquery.com. I have a one month business challenge um, that helps people find their business and start it and start making money out of their business. So you can go onto my website, you can click the link in the description to start that one month business challenge. I just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of this workaround, a way to get multiple emails and automation on the free account for MailChimp. Okay. So take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time.